What's up guys? So today I want to talk to you guys about and teach you guys this application uh, that I use called OneNote. Um, it's, if you've been following me for the last couple of days, a couple episodes, whatever, uh, I've been telling you guys I've been starting my new 90 day plan. Um, it's pretty much taking all the ideas that I wrote down on here and here to start a new 90 day plan slash a planner. Um, and I want to show you guys how I took that information, all the things, all my ideas from these two pieces of paper and transferred onto OneNote. I found this out. I found OneNote as I was kind of like making this uh, planner slash plan, 90 day plan. And I was like, wow, this is actually something that I really want anyway, because I've been always wanting to make a planner and I just love planners and schedules uh, for the last almost three and a half, four years. I've been using schedule, actually life, but I used a lot more as planning out where I want to go in the world and just what I want to achieve and where I see my vision just taking place. You know, make it plan, write it, write your vision out, make it plan, right? <clears throat> so it's just one of those things where it's like, bomb, I stumbled on this. I think he, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I didn't know I had one note, like I had Microsoft Office on my laptop for a while. You know, you have applications on here and you're like, oh, what is this? <laughs> and I decided to click it. <laughs> Finally, after having this laptop for like a year or so. Um, and I was like, you know, let me see what this is all about. And you know, YouTube and this mug out, I found out, I was like, man, this is actually a cool application where you can pretty much just create your own schedule, your own planner, your own, you just like taking notes, this is wonderful for you. Um, for me, especially because I just I just love taking notes and just writing stuff out. You know, I just like doing that stuff. And I'm kind of transferring from always doing it on paper and stuff to a little bit digital. Uh, I'm still gonna keep paper, but it's just easier to transfer going from country to country to country, you know? Um, so if you have a laptop, and cool thing about OneNote is, is you have it doesn't matter if you have a PC or Apple. Uh, I just kind of converted to a PC from Apple. Long story, but there's just some things I wanted to do. Uh, but if you have a PC or Apple, PC especially, it comes. It's just on there, it's just automatically on there, and it's free. Honestly, it's free, <clears throat> which I found out. Like if you just go to this Office tab on any PC. You technically have it for free, or you can just go to like office, believe office.com and just sign up and make an account and stuff. It's free. You do, there are some things that aren't on there if you pay for. I kind of go over a little bit of those, but <clears throat> overall, it's free. Like even Microsoft Word is free. <laughs> so with the free version, you still got a lot. <clears throat> so I believe OneNote is really for not even just students, but for people who really like to take notes or if you were that person in high school, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> if you were that person in school or high school, whatever, and you had like these big binders and stuff and you're like, man, I wish it was like an easier way to, you know, organize this or not just always carry all these binders on my back because they add up. They really do. Um, this is where one note comes in, for example. So they have these things called notebooks. So pretty much you can have as many notebooks as you want per se. Uh, if you want to choose a notebook, create a notebook. This is where it all starts. You can choose a notebook or you can create a notebook. <clears throat> so, I guess it's trying to log in. But what you would do is just add a notebook. And say, for example, I want to add a notebook. We'll name this one Learning Sesh. <laughs> Let it create for a second. Bomb, you have a brand new notebook. You can have it as soon as you want. I have one just called call my own name. And then I have one that was kind of like just learning the software, which I'll kind of go over and some cool things that you can do with it, which is just awesome. So within, so when you first get this application, you pretty much have just one notebook. It'd probably be your name notebook. But I just wanted to show you guys how you can add a new, you have to go under notebook and where it says add notebook. So once you're under that notebook, you will find this section called sections right here, right? And the cool thing about sections is kind of like a divider. 
Um, if you are like a nerd, <laughs> I was a nerd ish. Uh, you have like these little tabs. You like push out and you write stuff on it and push back in. Like, oh, this is a math tab, science tab. Pretty much, that's what these are dividers, right? <clears throat> and you can rename all these dividers. So if I wanted to right click and just rename it to today's tab. Awesome. And the way you just make a new one, just add a new section. And they all come different color coordinated, <coughs> cord different colors. And within those, you just right click um, and you can select a color, change color, be as wonderful as you want to. Which for me is just dope. And you can always delete tab or whatever. So imagine if you're in college or high school or just school or just planning for your life. You have different things you want to plan for. Uh, for me, for example, I have my own trips, uh, YouTube channel, websites, merch, all Patreon page, and I it just keeps going on. I just kind of like just started this thing, and so I just kind of wanted to, you know, test it out. I'm gonna explain some of the things I've been going over too uh, <clears throat> as we go throughout this. As I, as I teach you guys this, I'm gonna show you how I took all my stuff from my paper and made it into my 90 day plan slash planner that I'm really creating more of and it's developing as I go. Um, so thanks for joining me. So with that, each tab, right? In each tab you will have a next section, which would be the pages. This is pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty much a page. I got a piece of paper. <laughs> um, you remember in high school you had those binders, <clears throat> other tabs, you're like, oh, group for next notes or whatever like all the notes you pretty much took for that class on the paper and so say for example today's lesson or today's tab and on this piece of paper for today's class notes is <laughs> i'm just going to keep it simple one note notes <laughs> so which is cool you all in each piece of tab each piece of paper you will have you just all add a new one you can pretty much give it a title um title I'm keeping everything simple just for understanding of it, right? So you can have as many pages as you want. However you organize your life, that's how you do it, right? Uh, so under each page, and you up at the top, you'll see a home button, right? Pretty much if you ever use Microsoft anything, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you name it, you kind of already have an understanding of how to do this and how everything functions. Um, cool thing about this is like you can always change your fonts make stuff bold whatever all right <clears throat> so with that I guess it's just a no-brainer like this part this section right here from here to here it's pretty easy it's like all right steps to plan to read numbers number your stuff what's cool is um I'm sorry first let me delete this so cool thing about one note is Whenever you want to type somewhere, you can just literally click somewhere and you start typing. So I want to add something here, start typing. For me, e, if you see, if you can already tell, the way I do my pages <laughs> are on a blank piece of paper. And my brain is like already scattered brain. So it's like, oh, this is working perfect for me because I can literally just click anywhere and keep going. Now, so say for example, you're not the person who wants just blank space. You need like lines. You just really want lines. That's how you function. That's how you operate. Totally understandable. Totally cool. Because sometimes I need lines for certain things. So with that being said, you'll just come over to the view tab right here. Uh, and then you see where it says rule, rule lines. You'll click that. And within this, you have a couple options, which I just find dope. So you have, <laughs> this is like just paper on the thing. So to me, this is like college rule paper right here. This this piece of paper or line, this just looks college rulish. And you just sit there and you can kind of like just write on um, the lines. Whenever you type, it's, you can see it kind of creates a little box, right? So within that box, you type whatever you want. So you just keep going, keep going. But it's like, oh, I need to move this section of notes to somewhere else so you just take that box and you can kind of like just move it to under where you need it to be which is pretty dope to me so it's like you're writing a whole legitimized paper 
more more power to you. So you can do that on here. But you have your different type of lines on here. Um, so however funky and cool you want to have it, you can have like great lines, which is dope, especially if you're like the type of math or whatever. Which is very helpful because with OneNote, if you have a tablet slash computer, um, that's why I have, I have a micro, no, what is this? A HP Spectrum 360. And the cool thing about my laptop, one of the reasons why I got it was because you can draw and write on it. And I just, I really needed that in my life because I really wanted something where it's a fully functional laptop. But at the same time, I could turn into a tablet mode and have all the capabilities of stylus or just freedom in a sense so if you have a stylus like if your laptop is a if if your laptop is a tablet or a two in one two in ones are by far the best um computer laptop you can just take your stylus and you can literally just write on here you can draw you can write if you're doing math this is just Wonderful. <laughs> you see how I just created this own little box? You can be like 2 plus 2y equals 3x. I don't know. I really didn't like math. But I like math, but you know, <laughs> once they started adding letters, I was like, all right, guys, what are we doing here? I get it, though. But so, and they have a touch screen, which is cool. You can just kind of like use your two fingers like you do your phone to zoom in and zoom out. You can see you have like never any space. You can just keep going and going, which I find cool. You can always command Control Z or uh, Command Z on a Pete Mac just to undo stuff, right? Which is by far just clutch within itself. As you can see, I'm using my two fingers to kind of like just zoom in, zoom out. Um, so one thing that I, the reason why I kind of like bring up this math point real quick is because if you have the paid version for Microsoft Office or OneNote, there's actually uh, on here where it does the equation for you. I don't have the, the math, the paid part for it anymore. Um, I might get it just for how to show you guys or you can kind of find yourself. But right next to where it says equation, there's a math button. It literally figures out your math equations for you. I'm like, what in the heck? I needed this in school. <laughs> like, for example, like, if you really had like, an equation that said 2 plus 1x equals 3x plus 5, it will literally figure it out for you. Even though, like, right now, mine doesn't have but it will literally, there's a math button, it will figure it out for you. And it will, it will explain <clears throat> all the steps to get there. I was like, what the heck? What was this? Like, this is, I think, one of the best things of this, this application um, is the ability to figure out math solutions and stuff. Especially if you're like not getting it or you just need help, whatever. Man, this would have been helpful. I passed math anyway. I passed all this. I get the equations. It's just too many of them after a while. I was like, all right, cool story. You guys got it. I really just stick to drawing. <laughs> But I really wanted to show you guys that part because I just think that's dope. Another cool part is if you're under the insert tab, uh, make sure you guys play with this. There's an audio section. You can just literally record your audio. Yes, I don't mind you. You're like, hey guys, what's up? Blah, 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 blah. And you can see it's recording. And then you can just press stop. And then if you want to play it back, you can. You're like, hey guys, what's up? Blah, 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 blah. So if you're in class and you're like, man, the teacher's going really fast. You can record the teacher. So if you just, you record the teacher and you just have your record up here and you just be taking notes and it tells you what time you took your recording. Everything is just really, really wonderful about this. That I think is just mind blowing, especially if you're a note taker and if you just see yourself. All right, <clears throat> so I think that's just enough of this. Um, play around with this. The draw tab is just clutch. As you can see, when I, I chose this pencil, because it has like just cool, <laughs> it's just little cool little little things. I was like, oh, I just kind of like how the different colored pencils are. Like it's like a space. I rather write this than anything. That's just 
different textures and stuff. There's different applications or plugins you can add on to this also, which makes OneNote even that much cooler because you can add plugins to it. I haven't got that far stuck to it, mainly because I'm focusing on my notebook, <laughs> which is my planner, and which is a 90 day weekly plan. So I kind of want, I really want to show you guys this real quick. Uh, again, because I was trying to tell you guys to show you guys in my other videos, I literally took everything I wrote down, like, okay, what do I want to achieve in my 90 day plan? Uh, where do I see myself? Uh, what do I want to accomplish? Pretty much how do I want to structure out my day or day, week, month, 30 days, nine days, you name it. Uh, there's two steps to it. So I actually went to Microsoft Word, which the cool thing is you can go to Microsoft Word, right? If you have Microsoft Word, you can take you can literally just take whatever you had in Microsoft Word and transfer it onto OneNote. So I just literally wrote this all out. It's like in a nine day vision, what I want to see myself become or who I want to work on. Again, I do steps. I, I like to see progress. I call them progress steps, I guess, just now. So first 30 days, I want to see this. I want to make sure this happens. Second 30 days, which is in 60 days, ends this such a date. Third 30 days which is 90 days, and it's like this touch. Um, it's just little things for myself. You know, do you, write it out, make your vision play, bomb. So with that also incorporated, things I really wanted to be on my planner for this page. It's like, all right, I really want to incorporate what do I want onto it. And so with that, I created a daily, weekly planner type of idea. Um, layout you can kind of say so for me this works i took kind of like different elements of different other planners that i like to that i really wanted to kind of keep in a sense uh and just kind of like incorporate right so for me i was like hey i really want like a weekly scripture or quote to kind of like just go by you know sometimes self-doubt or just not self-doubt just Things to keep you upbeat every day with a positive mindset, right? So, I put that on here. But I always want to spend time with Adonai, no matter what. Like, bomb. <laughs> and then I kind of like made up something called like a star question. What am I going to create today <laughs> or this week? Like, just something for myself. Just like, all right. Wake up with a, a attitude of like, I want to accomplish something. So, how am I going to become better each day? What does that 1% look like for me? So this is 1%. It might be actually more than 1%, but it just keeps under it. It keeps under that mind frame of 1% better each day. All right. <clears throat> so I kind of like structure out my days to put a sunrise, sunset, just because I like sunrise, sunset, you know, just type of, you know, and I call it daily routine. So each day I want to accomplish these things, which is create, design, draw actually falls under the same, um, part is create and design, but I kind of like also want to make sure I just draw throughout the day. <laughs> sometimes I like drawing, I really do. Like, I can just visually put my vision out some type of way. Play guitars, cause I'm learning how to play guitar and I really want to, you know, learn how to play, you know, share the music that I think is cool. And audio learning, I call it, and slash power hour. It's pretty much for me, um, what you take into your mind every day plays a big part. So you gotta filter out the junk um, and put some positive stuff in there. Sometimes you might not have thoughts of yourself for yourself, uh, something positive, or you're just like around negativity all day. And so you don't know what positivity is. So, I mean, thank goodness for <laughs> YouTube and stuff. Now, you know, you just have like a cool, positive, like just type in something positive. Like hopefully this is positive for you I encourage you, inspires you to really, you know, just go for your own dreams. Or your, where God has ordained you to do, live out your vision, right? So, I met a lot of people like, they just don't hear positive words every day. So, I put something on here. I know what I consider positive. So, I like, I want to make sure it's an hour at least. I can break, I'll break it down. Actually, I'll break it down a little bit. I do like a sermon, motivational speeches, uh, audio books, kind of like 20 minutes each, you know? It can break it down morning, afternoon, night, all at once, however you want it, doing workout, whatever. I made sure I put that in there to work out because there's, this is a great tempo that I have. Thank you. <laughs> I, 
Um, so I just want to make sure I'm able to function, whatever that looks like for you. Right now, in the first 30 days, it's really just kind of like a 15 minute workout. It's just kind of push ups, planks, and squats. I, I, I'm developing. I know I can work out more. I love working out more. Personally, I love working out like two hours a day at least. You know, honestly. But right now, at the season I'm in, <clears throat> I'm only able to really do like 15 minutes right now for these 30 days, which is better than nothing. Um, there's actually I do a little bit more than 15 minutes, but I tell myself. 15 minutes, no matter what, just do it, just knock it out. Uh, and stretching is part of my workout too. Um, which, if you actually look and took time to pause the video, pause the video, look this, you kind of see it. I don't mind sharing. Hopefully, you know, it works out for you. <laughs> so, then hopefully, you get some kind of nuggets or some seeds are being planted, you know? Um, and then also, I put on here. So, also, sometimes I kill two birds with one stone, <laughs> which is great. So during workout, I might have like a motivational 15 minutes going or 20 minute talk, you know? Cause it's like, all right, I need somebody to push me through cause it's been a long day. People get on my nerves. I just need to bomb, bomb, bomb this out real quick. So I added on that. For me, if you can see on this, this uh, planner schedule for myself, I work better knowing how much time I spent with something. Um, therefore, I'm not just out in the blue, just like, oh, oh I did it. Uh, it's, it's for myself to hold myself accountable, even though I believe what time is made up. <laughs> but at the same time, I do want it to be a, a nice little tool. It's like, oh, I I see my progress. I see what I did. I actually did something to uh, advance towards what I'm doing. So I just want to see it's progress for myself. So each day, I actually just wrote out there to spend time with her. And I, um, I'm not sure how that might look for you. I think it's cool if you do 10% of, of the day with them. You might not be able to do 10% right now. Maybe something you work up to. So it's 24 hours in a day. What is that? It's like two hours and 40 minutes or something. 30 minutes a day with them. I, thank God I live next to the beach or close to the beach. <laughs> so <laughs> go to the beach or something. I don't know. Um, or you can just break it off. I just think for that, that's it's not something I've always been able to do. Uh, it's not something I do every, I was doing every day either. Um, Sometimes it was just 15 minutes. I just want to say I spent some type of time with them and grew. So it helps me spiritually, um, even through his meditation or whatever, just reading his word. Uh, however that looks for you, um, it's a great time. I feel like uh, we all have like mental therapy. <laughs> I need it. So I've been going to what I call the beach therapy <laughs> because I just need mental, especially in today's society is like, uh, I'm very much of a introvert in a sense, but at the same time, like I know a lot of people like, man, they have their, you're kind of like forced, not forced, but you're kind of like all just with your family members or just with friends, just all in one spot. And they kind of like take it away our outlets of, if you need, if you're that person's like, I kind of like just need to get away from people every now and then, you know, like there's no more coffee shops or, you know, so you're just kind of like always with people. Sometimes you have to just get away. I mean, you with Jesus, departed sometimes like, all right guys <laughs> i gotta go <laughs> i need to get away from y'all clear your head so that's what i do when i say i spend time with i don't know it's kind of like let me depart from the world and go clear my head um and so for me also included on here time spent truly working on a day like truly honestly how much time did i spend working on my day like uh, i have this thing called a, a timer it's on the computer um i just keep it going for when I'm truly working like right now. Um, when I'm not working, I stop that mug because I told myself the first 30 days, no matter what, spend six and a half hours on yourself. I always tell people work harder on yourself than you do for others, especially like if you have a job or whatever. One guy, I was like, these places don't care about you as much as you think they do. I don't say I have the same mindset, but you know, they don't care about you as much as you care about you. Make sure you work on you and care about you more than them. So I know it's tough. I know it's tough. Um, but after you give time to them, you got to give time to yourself in some type of form or fashion. Small, however you have to start, start working on you. It is so imperative. Like, just work. I remember hearing one lady one time, she was like, the only time she had got quiet time is she had to go to the bathroom and escape from her kids and everything. Um, and I know I don't have kids or anything right now. Lord willingly, one day, 
um, like I'm always inspired by when I hear women or just men too. Like there are some men too, but because I came from a single woman, single mom house, right? So it's like, how do y'all do all this stuff? <laughs> like I have one homie, she works at the, the gig, right? And then after that, she goes to another gig and work with them, like like a school type of thing. And then she goes home with her kids and spends time with them and cooks and all that stuff. It's like, women are just amazing. Like, and there are fathers too. Like, I have a cousin. Hey, listen. Couple cups. Great job, Charles. <laughs> so, I can't just say it's just women too. But it's just kind of like a lot that you see more than that I've seen just that I've been into. But I know men too that are single fathers. They, not even just single, but even if you're not going to relationship with you do this together but i just seem like you know how do y'all do all this like how what type of superpower is this who am i to complain <laughs> i have all this type of super freedom in a sense where it's like i don't have that type of responsibility yet you know where you have to go to work and they're, she's supposed to go back to school too i said how do you function like one two three three four different things and you got to feed other people it's like man that's crazy so <clears throat> I said all that just to say like you know make sure you work on you clear your head and she go <laughs> i started doing that's like Phew. uh but it's like <sighs> breathe in slow breathe out like take some time. um so for me <clears throat> i started following a lot more of i kind of like want to go back to like i guess scriptural times like how they had like first hour second hour third hour type of thing so i included into my calendar first hour, second hour, and I do it throughout some of my research. Um, and they would say the first hour starts at 6 a.m. So I quoted that, I said, all right, 6 a.m., bomb. 6 a.m. is first hour, usually close to when sunrise anyway. Uh, depends on what side of the world you're on. Um, right now I'm in LA, sunrise like around 6.30 something. Um, which I thought was always cool. So I included one of those each day. Uh, yeah. So, um, I can go on more to like show you guys exactly how I made this. If you want to know more of that, like I kind of do want to show you that, but I feel like this is kind of going longer than I expected this video to be, um, which is cool. But yeah, like I included, I really included a lot into this. Like I taught, taught myself 30 days, uh, top dues, what I want to create in 30 days, what errands. I, for me, I sectioned out errands. I pretty much organized my time like a lot, so I don't have time for a mess around type of thing. Just because when you're when you're really dedicated, one thing I have learned for myself is more about discipline and consistency. It's not that I can't do something or not able to do something. It's just being consistent is mostly what it is in discipline. Um, so this helps me be more disciplined, consistent, and seeing myself do it right. So. <clears throat> I mean, I like to budget myself, so it's cool. Um, one thing I wanted to really include into this calendar was a draw out idea space. So I got stylus for. Um, I like to draw, like, there's just things I like to draw, like, doodling. You never know when you're just sitting at the airport or just somewhere, <laughs> people just talking or whatever. You just kind of want to draw and that idea from something somebody said or something and have it go on to your calendar or whatever. Um, so I created one for each day. I even included in here, like, when my Sabbath starts and stuff too. So well, it's not this one. It's this was the layout, right? So I started this about last week. Um, so zoom out a little bit. Excuse my two fingers. So I started this last Friday. To you guys, I'm not sure you see it, but. So last Friday for me. <laughs> so I started it last Friday. Um, if I get on the right section. Started last Friday. As you can just see my progress for it. This is how I fill it out. I said it started on Friday and then the next day was upset. So I was like, oh, okay. So I just go to this week actually. And that way you can kind of see a lot more detail of how I'm doing. So I literally fill this mug out each day as I go along with it. Like even right now, I probably put in here, 
zoom in. I call it design record day. Uh, record. Well, I record right now. Um, I'm gonna edit to some of this video because I really want to put this video out. So, yeah, there's that. But I want to show you guys. This is how I include like some of my times I call it grace time. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. It's like after the Sabbath is over, I just, it's, to me, it's grace time. It's like, oh, what do I want to do? I just use it as grace. You can do whatever. Sleep, do some work. But my new day starts at 6 o'clock in the morning the next day. So I go from sunset to sunset. So I got a couple more hours before my Sabbath starts right now because it's at 10 o'clock. gonna go over to but I got a few hours right and so the Sabbath starts I ain't doing nothing but sleep I cause sometimes I don't sleep during that week it's like three or four hours a day maybe so try to sleep as much as I can and after that I'm just calling my grace time <laughs> you know because the next day for me really starts the next day um uh, if you really want to more know more about how that really works for me I can explain it if you're curious I mean I don't like sharing I like sharing but yeah um Couple of dislikes things I do not like about uh, when the outcome to my planner part of it is <clears throat> you see how you type right, which is cool. But sometimes, actually, I just use my notebook because it's it's on here. I wish some things would just stay in place. <laughs> it's like why is this not staying in place? Like I'd be on here, um, I abbreviate stuff because for me. And you see how it goes into the next section. Like, why are you doing this? I have a box. Stay in that box and stop dragging to the next part. Now I gotta come back and reorganize this whole thing until I figure that part out. That's pretty much like this crap right here. Why do you keep doing that? Like, it just there's some 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 nicks <laughs> on here. It's like, oh, come on, guys. Like, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Why is this not fixed? I'm like, oh, whatever. But it works. So, if you guys want to know more about this, cool. I hope this inspires you in some type of way to get on here um, on OneNote, make your own planner. Um, it's very useful, very helpful, especially if you're an organized person. Thank you guys for joining my class uh, slash inspiration. Hope this finds you in a great time in your life. If not, hope it you know inspires you to do something great i don't know i hope it just puts a smile on your face and sees your planet and you have a great day um be great guys like look more don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment at below um tell me guys tell me guys tell you guys tell me tell me blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> you tell any day in this class tell me what you guys think if you have any questions comments look on be on a lookout for some more classes i'm going to show you guys how to do some more designs use different programs such as affinity photo affinity uh, designer davinci resolve i pretty much switched over from the adobe i know i use all of the adobe software yes cool story but i don't like paying stuff monthly no i like one time one time only <laughs> and you know and i feel like you can do that with affinity designer or just affinity products which is if you do Photoshop, Illustrator, and Design, this is very much cheaper and it does the exact same thing as those programs, but you just pay one time fee and it's yours and it works offline. And you have the same capabilities, if not more, than like Photoshop and Illustrator. So I'll go over that later on in some other classes, but be on the lookout. I plan on doing like a, a vlog a week and a class a week. So, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends, cuz you can't vote, get vote about me. And let's let's enjoy this journey and excursion and venture together. Boom.